Why are they here? The government knows who these people are. The government has been tracking them. So if the government knows who they are, if Rav Goodell stands up in the House of Commons and tells that there are 60 ISIS people in Canada, that means they have the information on these people, on these individuals. They know who they are. They know that they had left Canada and now they have returned to Canada. Why were they allowed to enter? Well, that's a great point. I mean, <clears throat> I go through customs from... I go through customs from time to time and they, you know, I show my receipts if I'm bringing back any gifts. They, they ask me how much money I bought in gifts and like I'm grilled and maybe I go to secondary uh, interrogations over trivial matters. Can you imagine someone coming back from Syria and Iraq who had been over there for years who was on a watch list and <laughs> they would be whisked right through or who knows, maybe they were asked questions and then release, but but why? I mean, surely, surely they they could be held. I mean, we I know for a fact we have various provisions in our criminal code. They're extraordinary provisions, but for therefore detaining people f about whom there is a real and imminent risk that they would be a it's like a dangerous offenders provision, but for terrorism, how could all sixty of them have been waved through? That is shocking to me. Uh, uh, Ezra, uh, uh, my concern is these, these are not simply common criminals. These are not drug traffickers. These are not people that, you know, under some sort of criminal code, uh, Canadian criminal code, that you would go and arrest them. These are people who join in a war against Canada, against the West. Al-Qaeda's leader, the late Osama bin Laden, in one of his first messages to the world, had mentioned Canada by name, that mm -hmm. they are at war against the West, and Canada was mentioned. Mm -hmm. Similarly, ISIS have mentioned Canada by name. These are people who went from Canada, whatever their background of in terms of ethnicity, race, and where they were born or who they are, but they travel out of Canada on Canadian passport to join uh, people, uh, entity, an organization that has been waging war against the West and against Canada yeah. since at least 9-11. Now, these people have returned as if they came back from a holiday yeah. at uh, going to the Swiss Alps or to the French uh, uh, Côte d'Azur. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is outrageous. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.